Hello, what's up everybody? This is uh, Turtle here, or Proto Man, from, as my IGN is in Lost Ark. Today we're going to be going over the Tellerus class that I am maining here. I'm running crit swiftness for my stats right now. Uh, I know there is other builds, but I think crit swift is the best for a Tellerus. So the ideal moves that you want to land against boss monsters, any kind of monsters, are usually your Home Barrage or Air Raid. And your Flamethrower. These are the three main skills that you want to mostly land for big damage. And then you got your Napalm and Forward Barrage for counter. If you guys didn't know about the new patch update, Forward Barrage now has a counter now. So, if you were using, um, let's say you were using or I was using Enhanced Shell. You can switch it now to Forward Barrage for the second counter. And let's go over this tripods and skills that I am using and runes. So let's start off with Napalm. Napalm you can leave at level 4 if you don't have enough uh, skills or uh, skill points. Level 4 is ideal for this guy. And you would put Stagger Damage plus 20%, the Overwhelm rune. And you will uh, for tripods target focus, and if you have more than enough points, you can max it out at last question or last skill to uh, max out. You would get a vital point with dancing flame. Now next one is multiple rocket launcher. This one you want to max out one of the skills you want to max out. So uh, you will run the skill casting rune, yeah one. Uh, 10 points max, you will want Flame Rocket, with Barrage, Access Denial. Those are the tripods you want to max out. Next you got Flame Dower. You want to, these are one of the s most important skills for damage. You want to max this out to level 11 if possible, if you have enough. Uh, you want Firepower Control, Range Flame, Azir Flame. And you would run the Wealth Rune to get up your specialty bar. You could also run the protection rune, or is it yeah, this eight percent one if you don't have the wealth rune. Next one is uh, air raid, one of your most important damage skills that you want to always land. You got quick fire, lightning barrage, the big one, and you would want to run the gale wind. If you don't have um, the legendary one, you would run the purple or blue one. But if you have uh, the legendary one, you would want to run that one on this. And you want to try to max it out to level 11. You have enough. Next we have summon turret. You would want sub battery, enhanced shell, uh, I mean enhanced turret, uh, laser turret. These are the three you want to run. And bleed. If you guys didn't know, the turret restacks bleed as it hits the boss or monster, whatever it's targeting. It restacks it every time, so it's pretty OP. And the next one we have is Solar Barrage, we will want Firepower Control, Keen Strike, Dancing Explosion. You don't have to max this one right away. Uh, I would recommend maxing out the other skills, but uh, I would run a quick recharge on it. Next one is Homing Barrage. Uh, this is one of your second most important skills that you want to always land. Riding uh, Enhancement, Weak Point Detection, Power Bomb. And you would run the Overwhelm rune, the legendary one. If you don't have that one, you would run the purple one or the blue one if they have. Do they have a blue one for this one? I don't think. Uh, I probably don't have it here. But yeah. If you have the legendary one, switch it up to this one. For dagger damage. And you feel uh, you would run um, Mind Concentration, Quick Prep, Solid oh, Shield. And you would run the Rage rune. If you have the legendary one, switch it out for this one. And for Awakening, I would run the turret. Going over the Relic gear that you will be running for this. So, I, for, this is pre-Vicus. Pre-Vicus, I would have two Nightmare sets first. Always run this. Or Quit Swift. You would need this a lot. Because of uh, your mana cost, skills would do way more damage. There, uh, when you have the two set bonus. 
And then you want Demon Beast to... That's after Salvation? I would get the after Salvation. Uh, Demon Beast just helps with Vaulton. You should be doing that pre vicus mostly. Or you could stay with the, um, the Argos gear. That you have on, the two set Argos. And then you have Salvation for the last two for more crit damage. And, um, cooldowns. The two set bonus here. After when Vicus comes out, I would max out uh, my full set to Nightmare for the quit, uh, crit uh, swiftness build. And oh yeah, engraving. Um, if you guys don't have uh, these engravings yet, I would re recommend running crit over swift first. But uh, let's see, hold on, engravings. That uh, I would recommend running are these right now if you have enough. Uh, but if you don't, Firepower Enhancement and Grudge and Hitmaster are my main three to run for, um, for three engraving max, three by three for now. And later on, you can add on King Blunt, Cursed Doll, or Adrenaline. Um, Grudge and Firepower. The um, the damage that you take from Grudge, okay, the 20% uh, damage is reduced with Firepower Enhancement because you take incoming damage minus 20%, which is pretty good for this this character. I'm, I'm not sure about the other characters, but Grudge and Firepower Enhancement are pretty good for this guy. And um, later on, if you have more of these engravings, your crit rate, you should... Um, run swiftness more this would be the ideal stats right here 700 or 1700 uh, swiftness here something like that for a late game late game but for now if you don't have enough you will run crit more for more damage and later uh oh yeah with engravings you will have more um crit from keen blunt and adrenaline to get you uh, more to 100% crit. So you wouldn't need as much as, as before. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.